Today's video is going to be all about my cashmere sweater collection. All of my cashmere sweaters are from the brand called Everlane and for those of you who are not familiar with it, Everlane is a US brand um, that ships worldwide and is focused more on to the ethical and the sustainable practices of fashion. So you would notice that most of their clothing items are either made out of natural fibers or recycled items such as plastic. One of the first items that I've gotten from Everlane is a cashmere sweater. And the first thing that I've gotten is this uh, mock neck style of cashmere sweater and um, the color is named Camel. I believe that this cut is not available anymore in the Everlane website but do check them out because they do have a lot of other cashmere sweater collections that are in there at the moment. The thing that I like about Everlane Cashmere is that firstly they are 100% pure cashmere and they are being sold at an affordable price point for given that they are 100% cashmere. Uh, I believe it's 100 US dollars or a little bit more when you convert it to Australian dollars but regardless the quality um, for the price point I think is really worth it. In fact um, I, I Think of them as an investment piece for me because um, I, I know that with these kind of fabrics, as long as you take good care of them, they definitely will last you for a long time. So in saying that, I have here a blue cashmere sweater as well. Um, this is a ballerina raglan cut that they call but it's also not available anymore. Um, I don't know why they faced it out but it's really cute this style of um, cashmere sweater. If you notice that the neckline is a little bit more wide and rounded, it feels like they try to resemble or um, they, they were inspired with the ballet arena letters. Um, I used to do ballet before, so that's why I kind of was drawn into the cut of these. So yes, and also I have gotten this pink light mauve, which they call it in the website. Um, sweater, just to add more, and last but not the least, so I can have a bit more of a basic um, color into my collection because I love neutrals as well. I've added a black cashmere sweater into my wardrobe. So basically I have just made um, a styling video again with these four cashmere sweaters that I have. So I hope that you guys would enjoy and tell me in the comment section down below which one or which style is your favorite. And yes, without further ado, let's get on to the video. Styling my Everlane cashmere mock neck sweater is such a delight as there are so many ways on how you can play with this shade of neutral color. For this video, I decided to do another form of monochrome styling, which is using different shades of this brown color palette. That said, another tip I can share with you guys whenever you do monochrome is to incorporate textures in your clothing pieces to make the entire look more interesting. As shown here, I have chosen cashmere with my sweater, cotton with my pants, and leather with my accessories for belt and shoes. My pants are again from Everlane and it is the straight leg crop in sandstone paired with the Everlane Day heels. I have accented the look with the same brown belt from Vachet London Leather which you have seen me use repeatedly in my videos. This outfit is something that I feel is perfect to wear for work but is also one that you can rock during a casual night out too. Thank you. 
Next style is using my Everlane Cashmere Ballerina Raglan in this light blue color. Again, this cut of cashmere is not available anymore on the Everlane website, but they still do have tons of other cuts and colors to choose from. What I do like about this cut is the wide neck design that shows just the right amount of skin, and my layered necklace is emphasized as a result of this. I have used the Everlane straight leg crop in sandstone for my pants and the same belt as shown earlier on the first outfit. It's something that you guys would probably notice and that is I keep repeating clothing items on my videos. But that's really one of my goals on this channel and it is to show that styling can be done in so many different ways and the best items to keep are staple pieces such as good quality basics and classic neutrals to rotate with time and time again. For my shoes, I have been wanting to maximize these colored loafers I got from Everlane, which I think is quite unique on its own. It's called Dark Rose and it gives a subtle pop of color to complement the blue sweater I have on. My third Everlane cashmere sweater is this ballerina raglan in light pink color. This sweater is cozy to feel and to look at at the same time. I have worn it with another Everlane pants, which is the straight leg crop in bone, which probably looks a lot similar to the previous pants I had on my last styling outfit. That color, by the way, was sandstone, and the difference is sandstone has a bit more of a beige undertone to it than bone, which is stark white in real life. For footwear, I have used up the day heels again as an example, and I feel that overall, this outfit is a perfect transitional look to wear particularly during the spring to summer weather and vice versa. I opted not to wear a belt on this look as I was wanting to emphasize the pink color for the entire outfit. Wearing my hair down also makes this entire styling very effortless and chic, something that evokes a classy laid-back vibe. The last styling is a classic neutral, the black cashmere sweater. For this outfit, I have used up my Everlane crop pants in golden brown, which is a color that I feel breaks a lot of the monotonous shade by adding a slightly bright yellow undertone to the entire look. For my shoes, I have decided to complement the black sweater with my black Dora Tamer mules, which I got for a bargain in Shopbop. Mules are a great way to wear heels because usually they are made with a chunkier heel that gives more stability and support. This pair of mules is made out of leather and the snake buckle design is so cool that it instantly gives a hint of edge to any outfit. For accessories, you may have noticed I did a mishmash of gold and silver throughout the styling. I have worn my layered petit grand necklace and my black belt this time from Vachet London leather all with gold accents to go together with the silver snake design of my shoes.
there you have it we have gone back to the end of the video so i hope you guys enjoyed it as much as i did and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel and also follow me on to my social media pages and that's it till next time see you guys again on the next upload bye